So this is going to be relatively short and informal. Because uh, basically I just got done talking with my family for like an hour and 30 minutes. Um, it's important, you know? Uh, and I hadn't talked to my mom in like a couple months. So I wanted to fix that. Um, so I talked with my mother and my sister for like an hour and a half. Uh, and it was good. We caught up on some old stuff, reminisced a bit. Um, I filled her in on some new stuff, uh, not the least of which is one of my new writing gigs. Um, so <clears throat> I uh, put out the the call a while back that said I'll be uh, willing to write for money if your outlet wants to hire. <laughs> so... Um, Basically, nobody hit me up about that. Um, but I I was followed by uh, a guy named... Um, what was his name here? Charlie Goodman on Twitter. Uh, and it says, The Freedom Post Chief Writer, Editor, and Founder in his bio. So uh, I figured I'd go check that out. See what that was about. See if it was just some MAGA outlet. But basically, uh, one of the first tweets there from the outlet was that it was looking for writers. Um, and so I just, I threw my hat in the ring, and long story short, I will be doing one uh, article a week for these people. Um, and uh, getting paid for it, which is good, because as those of you who follow me for a while know... I'm willing to work hard, but work's been kind of dry lately. So, um, ultimately, uh, that's a thing that's happening. Uh, so expect one article a week from me. And possibly the first article will be on the same thing that this video's about, because it's fucking absurd. Trump's house got raided by the FBI... And now a bunch of Republicans are literally calling it a civil war. <clears throat> Where? He didn't fight. You know, for all for all of his stuff about, like, you know, come and take it before his first presidency, that all kind of evaporated when he was the president. Um, and then he said... You know, I like to take the guns first and do due process later. Right? That's what he said. That's like either a paraphrase or a very, like a very close paraphrase or a direct quote. He said that, that he wanted to take the guns first and do due process later. This is the Republican. And he's less hardline on workers owning their, their their means of defense than Karl fucking Marx. And I hate Karl Marx, as y'all know. So, really good on you, Trump. But, I mean, I guess he wants everybody equally disarmed as he is, because he, or at least equally unwilling to use those arms in any sort of resisting capacity because he didn't do shit. So with that in mind, um, I think it's valuable to remind people that the state will try to redefine things. They tried to redefine insurrection and now they'll try to re redefine any sort of negative response to a raid as a civil fucking war. They just want everybody bubble wrapped to the point where they believe that what amounts to a tantrum was an insurrection and that this amounts to the start of a civil war. Fucking where? Where? Where is this civil war gonna be? Because it's not here yet. There's only one side using any sort of violence in that regard. And it couldn't happen to a better target because this guy doesn't like due process. So <laughs> fuck your due process then, Trumpo.
This is what you ordered. We're not sending it back to the kitchen. I mean, just to be clear, fuck the FBI. Fuck the U.S. government. Fuck the kind of person who, like, would would support this kind of thing being done. But it's fucking ironic, don't you think? That the same guy who said he wanted people disarmed so that due process could be done later <laughs> didn't get very much due process here, now did he? And it was all about suspicion of, like, classified government documents being, like, misplaced and put in his safe. If that turns out to be true... Hillary did that. I thought he was supposed to be the alternative. Isn't it funny how there isn't a real alternative in terms of electoral politics? Isn't it fucking funny? Might just be a little bit fucking funny. That these two people who were basically friends before the election, and as I say, and you who follow me know, uh, selection is what it really should be called. They were friends before the selection. And if you ask me, they were probably still friends after this election. Because it's all one big fucking circle jerk. The Clintons flew with Epstein. The Trump flew with Epstein. They were all at his parties. They all are part of the same big fucking club that you ain't in. Right? So can we admit that? Soon. Or do we have to play this charade? No, we still have to play it? Well, also, to be clear, I'm not pro-Biden now. For all the Trumpers who are going to come at me and say that, oh, no, he's he's sold out, he's pro-Biden. No, fuck that piece of shit, too. I stand by my video yesterday and all my content against that piece of shit, fucking cunt Biden. Um, 87,000 more IRS agents is only going to be used for oppression. Not just because they're thieves for a living, but because those people are going to take off some of the burden from the others. They assured people that these people wouldn't be used uh, to increase the level of audits on people who make less than 400000 a year. But they didn't say anything about offsetting things so that the existing people could increase it. Now, did they? And maybe a bunch of political speak people who are uh, affiliated with a bunch of legal speak people might know how to manipulate language so that they can say, no, sorry, we won't. We won't. We promise we won't. We won't increase the level of audits on poor people using these people. We promise we don't do that. But, you know, the existing people, they can still do whatever they want. Right? No, they would never do that. So, like, let me be super clear here. Fuck Biden. His jobs that he added are feds and fucking terrible people. But that doesn't mean I like former guy any better. And for those of you who came here because I was talking shit on current guy, I'm an anarchist. And that's why I'm going to write anarchist content for this site. So feel free to buckle in like, share, and subscribe, because I don't like that guy either. All presidents suck. The whole system is wrong. And if you care about truth, reason, freedom, then 
that'll resonate. And if you don't, then you're one of the reasons we have to smash the fucking state.